Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another fan server episode. I'm so glad you joined me. I'm so glad you joined me. Oh, do I have some awesome stuff to show you today. First though, I wanted to share pro tip thing. Take some shiny ingots from Thermal Foundation. Throw them in the smeltery. They will eventually turn into fluid platinum molten, which is like uh, just missing missing the uh, the uh, lo logics uh, locals. Yeah, locals. Okay, uh, but it's just platinum uh, platinum metal that you can make tool parts out of. And I I, I discovered this. Someone was saying this in the chat. I can't remember who it was. And check this out. This is a manulin pickaxe, which isn't. You know, it's not the quickest mining thing, but it has a mining speed of 15. Now, let's see what happens. Mining speed, 23. <laughs> that's right! Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so awesome. I did it on my uh, on my hatchet as well, and did a mining speed to 63. <laughs> I love my hatchets. Uh, so yeah, that, that's the thing. I, I wanted to show that to you to start off uh, this episode. Uh, but we are going to head back quickly to the restaurant. We're gonna get to the technical aspect of it. I've been doing a little bit of off-camera work, and I think you're gonna love it. Let's let's go. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it's raining. Ain't that pretty? Listen to these stupid freaking portals. It's not even on, buddy. He's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna shout all my things at once. Okay. Look at the place. Oh my goodness. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it pretty? I'm loving it. Loving it. But I gotta be honest with you guys, I have been... Um, I have been... So, so enjoying the server. The f last few days. And thank you for your likes and comments on the last video. Many, many good suggestions that I... That I kind of uh, stole, if you will. Uh, check this out. Joe's Burgers! Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that's the final name. We're gonna have the vote for this episode and the the previous, and then I'm gonna put them together and we'll see what the final name is. Uh, but for now, it's Joe's Burgers, and I've I managed to do a little logo in Computer Craft. Isn't that cool? I'm using something called CC Image. Basically, I take an image, a PNG, and I import it into the CC Image little Java program that I downloaded. I'll put it in the description for you. Um, and then uh, I import that as a picture and run it in my computer craft program. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been doing. And the place is coming along in here. I put down some chairs. We've got some platters. Platter dinner plates. Got a really good suggestion from one of you to use dinner plates. Because if you put the stuff here, you can eat directly from them. If you're hungry. I'm not hungry. Uh, but I'll show you once I get hungry. Uh, and that's probably how we're going to serve the burgers. And all of that is stuff that we will be getting to today. At the moment, Joe is not with me. The other guys aren't on TeamSpeak with me either. So I'm just here alone with you. Uh, maybe Joe will be joining us later for the episode. I'm assuming I will have a lot of cutscenes today with programming and stuff. Uh, here, let me show you another thing I've started to work on. It's the test program. Mm -hmm. Starting to do like the menu. So you push these. And then you would get a cheeseburger on the... On the counter here if you pay for it somehow still haven't figured all of that out but that's the plan for us today i have made a little stuff stuffy entrance and people on the server you don't dare to go down here this is private <laughs> private private areas uh do i have any there we go uh-huh we'll fill that in a very aguda okay so Today is probably going to be a technical episode, and if we have time, we'll try and finish the interior of this place as well. I wanted to talk to you guys about the front porch here. There was a little bit of, um, I wouldn't say upsetness, but there was a little bit of uh, worries in regards of uh, how this uh, aligns. But I think it's alright, I put down some fence here, and I think it works pretty well. Uh, I did put that up there, and that's going to be like our sign. Possibly we'll do a computer craft, uh, the, the hamburger logo up there. Possibly. Um, actually, I just thought about that. That's not a dumb idea. That's not a dumb idea at all. <laughs> I'll see what I do, though. Uh, I did do the logs a little bit up, like you can see. Otherwise, the roof is flat using this great wood slab. I'm really happy with this build, to be honest with you. I was struggling when building it, but I think it turned out fine. 
It turned out good. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm thinking as well that we'd go with red shares. I think that's the best color. I need to get some more uh, carpet going though, but uh, for sure. But anyway, I'm eager to get started on the on the technical aspect. So let's let's do that. The first thing we're gonna do. Let me uh, let me explain. Uh, we are going to have the customers. Wait, we should go back up. Customers will come in. They will ring this bell. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> no, they don't have to ring the bell, but they can if they want to. Uh, and then they will press one of these depending on which burger they'd like to order. And at the moment we have one called Regular 8, that's just a test name to see if I could do uh, numbers, because we need to put the pricing here as well. But say that they will push, say... Here, let me first remove this trapdoor, because that is going to be activated with the computer craft signal. Oh, oh, huh, I can't get up. Will that do it? Will that... I don't know if that's going to be effective, we'll see. Um, so let's push, for example, cheeseburger. Uh huh. Then a redstone signal will be sent down to one of these channels. So I got the redstone on the side of the computer over there. The computer will be hidden, by the way. Don't you worry. You've seen me do computer craft before. Uh -huh. Signal will go down, and we will use these uh, Enderio bundled colors. So we have uh, 16 different available channels, i.e. 16 different... Um, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Burgers. Mm-hmm. Which will be enough. So we're gonna we're gonna send for for example for the second burger that I selected the cheese a burger that will send a signal to the green one. Okay, uh, and then based off of that we'll do some cool stuff. Um, one of the things that we will be doing and that we can start with is sending a burger up to the counter. So let's go down. Is this good? Yeah, uh, Joe had a really good idea that we would send the burger to a random spot on the counter, and we can do that, but I think we'll start with, yeah, we'll start with just using one here. So, I'm using a conduit facade from Ender.io, uh, we're gonna try and put the platter above it, I do believe that we can use an item conduit and feed the signal directly into that facade, uh, or platter, uh-huh. Uh-huh, looks good. Uh, here, let's wrench it, let's say insert, and then let's bring this bad boy down, and, hmm, how do we want this? I think we're gonna go over here, uh-huh, uh, we will use redstone receivers on these from Steve's factory manager, so we can, de uh, so we can do pre precise detection, so when the brown goes off, I'll know that it's this redstone receiver, and based off of that, I'll program something in Steve's factory manager, which I will do off camera, by the way, because last time I did it on camera, it wasn't super popular. So I'll do it off camera, and maybe, maybe just run you through the program. Um, but let's lay this out. So we'll do a cable going across like so. All the different burgers will be here, so we will change this up to uh, color green, brown, blue would be the next. And then we'd go purple, and they would basically just be the different burgers. Come on now. Purple cyan, that's going to be my favorite burger no matter what it is. <laughs> cyan, light gray, and we can't do anything in the corner, so the next one would have to come here. Gray, okay. For now that's good. Mm -hmm. And then we'd basically just put receivers um, like as all. Let's see, do I have... I've, I put up a little workshop down here, you know, because I'm, I'm awesome like that. Uh, we'll put a chest somewhere, and this chest will be what sends up the burger, uh, which is the first thing I want to see if we can get working. Hmm, how do we want to put this, though? Mm, if we put it here, we can't open it and we can't troubleshoot it. You know what I wouldn't mind having? Like a... A chest that isn't really a chest, like an item buffer from Ender.io would be good. Ah, I don't have it. Let's put it there for now. I'll move it later. I'll move it. Uh, and let's pull this cable maybe like a so. And then onto that chest. Very good. Now this cable here, let's have that in always pull and let's try out... Do I have any food? Uh, yeah, let's try a toast. Put you in there. Let's see if that ends up on the platter. Or plate. Yes! Okay, that works. Very good. Very good. Now we could 
put three plates here and do round or robin and it would be kind of random. Uh, so check this out. I right click. Ah, that's so good. <laughs> Burp. Uh, so that's the kind of plan for how, how I think we're going to serve them. Um, so the next step to this is just really making sure that the computer craft program, which I will share once it's done. Um, I'll just make sure that it sends a signal to the uh, to the right receiver there. Let me work a little bit of that on off camera and then, then we should actually be already ready for testing. The next thing though is that we need to have a payment system somewhere. So I need to think about that for a little bit as well. So at this point you may be asking or wondering, what are those? Well, I'll tell you. Well, I'll tell you, I'm saying these are Joe's salted nuts. It's a um, delicious thing that he serves here at Joe's Burgers. Mmm, really good. Alright, so I've been doing a little bit of uh, technicalities down here. Wow, that was dark. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, and I won't lie, I've had a little bit of issues. Turns out that Ender I.O. conduits which we need to use for the color coding, uh, do not connect directly to redstone receivers very well from uh, State's Factory Manager. But anyway, I worked around it using some alloy wire. So check uh, check out this out. Let's let's go into there's the there's a program so far by the way <laughs> while coding it. Um, let's go into here and let's order up a burger. The burger. Aha! We got a burger. Ain't that cool? Let's get a cheeseburger. Why? Why not? Yes, it worked. <laughs> this is this has been a few hours of, of frustration. I, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to. Uh, th that's the first first step. Basically, what happens in the program? Should I? Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of boring to watch computer craft stuff on camera. Uh, basically, the only thing computer craft does here is receive the signal from the touchscreen and then output a signal to the equivalent color using redstone bundled output uh, that I'm using in the cable. Mm -hmm. If you know a little bit of computer craft, that should be enough for you to understand. And currently, I have three different setup. I have the burger, uh, the cheese burger, and the deluxe cheese burger. Uh, now the burgers, the stock is being kept in this chest here. So let's put these back. Uh, so this will be the chest that Joe the farmer <coughs> need to be keeping stocked with the stuff. Uh, we will probably do like a restaurant room as well, where the burgers are actually being crafted by Steve's factory manager. But that'll, that'll be for a later time. Um, so the burgers are being stocked there, and when I say that I push the red the red signal and request a burger, uh, State Factory Manager will move one burger from that chest into... Did I show you that on camera? I did. Right? Into the plate. Yeah. So we'll move one there into the plate. Um, now, the next thing that I want to get working here is a payment system. The server, by the way, is crowded, but I'm alone. <laughs> I felt I, felt I want to be alone for a little bit with you. Uh-huh. Um, so, the, the next step is a payment system. Now, the way we're going to do this for now, and this isn't ideal, but the way we're going to do this is I have an item buffer here from Tomcraft. I was talking about these. This is basically an inventory that you can paint as any block. Isn't that amazing? I think it's so cool. Um, we're going to use that as our kind of counter, so the, the people buying something have to put in the price in here, and then we'll do a little comparison in Steve's factory manager. Here, let's get this show on the road. Got some of these from Skolda because I want some gold coins. I'm thinking we'll we'll try and use we'll use gold coin as our currency. It's pretty good. Anyone can get it from from treasure bags. Uh, we'll make it. Well, if if anyone have a treasure bag uh, farm, well they they'll be buying a lot of burgers. But we will raise prices as we go. Um, you know that type of thing. I I think that's good. Uh, so, gold coins, the idea is, say the burger, it costs 20, 20 gold coins. Let's say that, just for testing. Now, when I push it at the moment, it's not going to check for any money input, right? So, what we want to do is make sure that it 
requires at least 20 gold coins in here. Um, and we can do that pretty easily, I think. I say this and I, I will probably run into issues, but I have an inventory cable going from that item buffer, connected up to the inventory system, and it goes along around. Uh huh. So all we should need to do is uh, I have a trigger for every burger. Here's the normal burger one. Let's remove you for now and let's add a condition. I, I, I wasn't going to do any of this on camera, but I think this should be pretty quick. Um, uh-huh. It should be that. Okay, so the condition is check if the buffer has, requires all gold coins. Mm, gold coins. And specify amount. It's going to be 20. Okay. Now, if that is true, this thing happens, and this is where it moves the burger from the stock into the uh, into the the the, the plate. Uh huh. Uh, then, of course, what it needs to do is wait. We need to also move the gold coins. Otherwise, you'll get pretty you'll get free burgers anyway. Uh, so, what we need here is a flow control. We will switch this over to a split two outputs. Oh, please don't dislike me because I'm doing this on camera. I got I got a few dislikes when I did this the last time. But trust me, a lot of people want to see this. And I'm going to be quick about it. Okay, so flow control basically gives us the ability to uh, have two things happen if this is true. Or even five things if we'd like. And we are going to grab from the item buffer. Any side will do. Whitelist gold coins. And then we're going to specify the amount so that if I have 26 in it, like it is now, it's not going to grab all the 26. And then we're going to output that into my barrel that I've placed. Uh, this one. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. That should be good. That should be what we need. Okay, so let's empty you. Put you in there. Oh, no. Hmm. Hi. Yeah, kind of working here. Goodness. Okay. Well, first of all, let's try without. Nothing should happen. Nope. No burger. Okay. That's plenty of kills opening the chests. Okay. Now 26 gold coins goes in. The burger. There we go. We got a burger and six gold coins to spare. Aha. Ain't that pretty. Now I just need a little system telling you what the burger costs. But that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, what we what would have been even cooler. I'm gonna mention this because I I kind of feel like you may mention this and 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 I want to agree with you um, It would have been better if we would have used the table uh, So a burger would have been placed on the table with a cable We did that in survival stories and for payment you would just put down the coins on the table first and it would check that table which is totally doable uh, and if it was enough, it would pull the coins off and then place a burger there, right? But, 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 it's such an advantage to have it placed on a on a dinner plate because you can right click and eat it right off the bat, you know. So that's why I want the plate. Um, I also want to try another thing here. Here, let's do. Mm -hmm, we need more coins now. Let's get a little bit more coins. There we go. Oh, we got diamonds as well. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna put you in there. Let's buy one burger. That's fine. And and let's check so that it's there. Good. Still 21. Oh! Oh, it moved 40. Okay. Okay. I think I know what the issue is. Uh, let's buy a cheeseburger as well. See? That's what's cool with the plate. We can have three different burgers here. Uh, we don't have a price for the cheeseburger. Now, I think the coin issue there was that we need to also do... Um, this is what moves the money. Yeah, let's put a whitelist on the output as well. And let's control this with gold coins here as well. Allowing only 20. Because I have a feeling. And I've got a feeling. I sing that song every episode. Have you thought about that? Uh, I have a feeling that there's a bug with Steve's factory manager. Where it only checks. Well, it, it checks both output and input. And then uh, if, if the... Output is allowing it, but the input isn't. It's gonna do it anyway. Uh, but I may be wrong. We'll see. Will every everything but one disappear? Nope. Took exactly twenty. Aha. Uh -huh. Very good. 
That's starting to look really good, Joe. I like that. Oh, thanks. I'm just kind of stocking the shelves here. Mm-hmm. Oh, that adds so much. Plenty of you just saw this. You loved it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Be beautiful. Uh, so I got most of the technical stuff programmed now. I wanted to try it out, and then I think we do. We ought to do a little bit of a decoration. I got some decoration blocks with me. Oh, oh! Before I do anything, let me show you this, Joe. Thank you for your tip uh, with the dark pressure plates. <laughs> uh, so basically, you take two dark steel ingots from Andrio, combine them like so, and then you can paint them in a painter with quite clear glass. Of course. I, like any food show, have already prepared. Check this out. Uh-huh. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I didn't know that at all. You can still see the hitbox if you hover it, but you know. Wow, that's flush. And isn't that like a saloon thing that it opens weirdly when you walk in, you know? Well, yeah, when you walk into a saloon, you, you hit the double doors and they swing open, so. Exactly. That kind of works well. Uh, so, so let's try this out. I got most of these programmed. Um, and what do we want to order? Burger and fries? 125 gold coins? That's pretty steep. Do I even have enough? Um, 64 plus... Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Burger and fries? Yes! Okay, how much was left? Oh. Nine. See, that's so nice, isn't it? That is awesome. Oh, yes. That All right. is awesome. I mean, we, we'll adjust the prices. Don't you worry. If 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 no one buys it, then we may be we may adjust them. But these gold coins, you can put up a farm to to get them through uh, killing the Tomcraft mob, so everyone can get them. Um, and I was having a, an idea, Joe. Once we update to custom and and pay C, we'll do uh, we'll do our own currency because there is currency in there, so we can do, you know, uh, like an ATM guy. And then pre people have to buy burger dollars for, like, diamonds or emeralds or whatever we want to do, right? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. And also, I'm thinking, ooh, didn't know we could do that. Did you know oh. this? No, that's cool. Ah. Huh. Maybe not red. But maybe some other color, like, around the bar there could be cool. I did yeah, actually... Cool. I did bring a little bit of carpet. Uh, let's try. Hmm. I usually don't don't use a lot of carpet. Let's just try this piece here. Is that too bad of a color? Yeah. Are you gonna make it bigger than that? Yeah, it would run probably all the way. It's just that you can't freaking break these. They are terrible to break. Ugh. What do you think? You have your equal trade one. Oh yeah, 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 you're, you're clever. You're very clever, sir. Do I have any V in that? A little bit, two point something. All right, I shouldn't do it that way then. <laughs> There's the staff room. Is it too bright maybe? We'll let the viewers decide, shall we? Yeah. I like the color, but it may be a little bit too bright, actually, now that I see it. Oh, you know what? I don't like this. Mm. Why does it have this border? Uh, we'll, we'll, I want to try red. Here, I'm going to I'm gonna try red. I'm going to craft up something else as well, Joe, that I want your opinion on. Uh, bear with me here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We'll decorate the place. And I was thinking we could do... What am I missing? Boop. Uh, I was thinking we could do a little bit of... Um, Maybe paintings? I've also got some vanilla paintings that we can put on the wall. Although, where would be such a wall? Oh, over here. Haha, uh -huh. Kung Fu fighting going on right here. <laughs> That's a pretty good one for a restaurant. The fire one, cooking one. Or do you not like that? No, no I, I don't even know what all paintings are in there. I'd have to go through them all. Check this out, though. Oh, wait. why Ooh. is it so small? Why? I've seen these be bigger. Well, we can hang it here. Check this out. Boop. Yeah, so that you can watch when you need to go back home to your wife after drinking. You know? <laughs> that makes sense. I oh, like we that. Need a, 
Where's the bell? I need a bell. Oh, yeah, I took it away. <laughs> People were freaking ringing it. I don't know where I put it. But we will put it back. Um, I want to try the red carpet. And then I think it's time. Because I've been doing quite a bit without you, Joe. When you were sleeping. I, I, I saw that. Mm-hmm. I know. Well, I know you like it. We had a discussion. Uh, ha, 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 ha. I'm going to try the red one. It does look very orange to me, though. Look at this stupid thing. It doesn't help if I have a chisel either. Uh, there. This is also very bright. Uh, that's too bright, right? Yeah. Do we have any burst plant or slime seeds here? We don't. We could try the brown one. Uh, nah. We'll leave it red now. We'll let the viewers decide. That's better than the yellow, I think. But I still think it's a little bit too, too uh, bright. The blue one is, is an obvious choice. It's very, very pretty. But nothing else in here is blue. All right, so let's just make one more order. Joe, you, you'll do the honor. Here, I'll give you some monies. Oh, give you oh, thank you. Thank you. Nine. Can't buy none with nine. Here, I'll give you some more. Mm. Uh-huh. There. What are you having? I think I will have the bacon cheeseburger. That's my favorite. All right, go for it. There you go. And do you know you can just hold right click and it will eat it automatically? Oh, well, my hunger's full right now, so I don't really need it. I'll take it to go. All right, well, uh, shift right click to pick it up. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to call it there. This has been a lot of fun. Wow. We got the technicality sorted. We need, of course, to uh, do a little bit more work on the menu, next buttons and that. But I'll put this program as it is in the description and the modified uh, Direwolf 20 button API as well. If I forget it, please do remind me in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, work on the, we'll work on the balcony as well some other time. But I, I need to get going, so... Thank you, Joe, for your help. Uh, zombies that you. Oh, that's our bartender until we get custom NPCs. Here, wait. I'll show you. I'll show you. There's the guy. Oh, that's terrible. Anyway, guys, take care. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.